Okay, in this video, I want to give you definitions for the trigonometric functions sine x, cos of x, and tan of x, and a visual understanding of where they come from. So here I've drawn uh, the unit circle. So this is a circle of radius 1. We will return to this in later videos as well. And I'm going to choose a point on the circle, OK, that point there, for example. And let's say when I draw a radius to this circle, like so, that this makes an angle x with the horizontal. OK? Now, if I drop a perpendicular from that point to the horizontal, this creates a right-angled triangle. Now, this side of the triangle we refer to as the opposite side because it is opposite the angle. And this side we refer to as the adjacent to the angle, OK? Because it's the side that is next to the angle. This side we refer to as the hypotenuse. And in our case for this, the hypotenuse is equal to 1, a length of 1, because it is going from the centre of the circle to the outside of the unit circle. So it must be of length 1. Now, how we actually define um, the trigonometric functions is that sine of an angle, so sine of the angle, we refer to as a ratio of the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So sometimes, rather than calling them the trig functions, they're often referred to as the trig ratios, because that's what they are. Sine of x is the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Now, in our visual picture here, because the hypotenuse is just 1, that means that sine x is actually referring to the height of this triangle. So, as x changes, the height of the triangle changes, and that tells you how sine is changing. So the height of that triangle goes from 0 all the way up to 1, and then back down to 0, and then down to minus 1, and then back to 0 again. And you'll see later on how that then generates the shape of the curve. The cosine function is also a ratio, and it is a ratio of the adjacent and the hypotenuse. OK, so as if the hypotenuse is 1, the cosine of the angle x is just the adjacent. So the base, the actual width of the triangle, represents cosine of x. So as x changes, OK, if the point is down here on the x-axis, then the, then the width of this triangle, because it's not really a triangle anymore, but the width of that would be 1. And as x changes, the triangle gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner, and then suddenly it's 0. And then back round, the width of the triangle goes to minus 1, then it comes back to 0, and then back to 1 again. So cosine is also going from 1 to minus 1 to 1, okay? hence generating the curve. We'll see that in more detail later on. Tan of x is the ratio of the opposite side of the triangle to the adjacent. OK? And therefore, because the, if the uh, hypotenuse is just 1, 
you can see this as tan of x being sine x over cos x, okay, which we will develop later on. If you want to kind of envisage, right, determine kind of what that looks like as x changes, well, what you can do is if I continue this line out and then draw a vertical line, tangent line effectively, at one, okay, then it is the height of this right angle triangle, okay, that represents tan x. So, as the point moves around the x-axis, their tan is zero, but then as it moves round up to 90 degrees, tan x gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper until eventually there you have an asymptote. Hence the tan curve will have an asymptote because the height of that triangle will have shot off to infinity. Okay, and then back round, okay, we're then at negative infinity, um, sorry, we're still at infinity there, and then we're coming back round down to zero, and then back, then down to negative infinity as we move around to 180 degrees. Okay, so, effectively, what you need to know, okay, from what you have met before, is that sine, cos, and tan are... Um, trigonometric ratios based upon the sides of a right angle triangle. This is where SOCATOA comes from because it reminds you of those ratios. Okay, so this pictorially is what's going on, and we will return to this unit circle to develop more ideas about the graphs, about identities, and how these things all work together.